Okay. Hey guys, we're gonna do uh, show you a couple exercises for your forearm circuit. A lot of guys do a lot of uh, wrist extensions and wrist curls. Uh, they're not bad exercises, but they're only a part of what our forearms do in baseball. So we're gonna show you some other exercises here that you can add into them. Uh, one forearm feature that we really like is for our, our what we call our pinch strength. So what Lofton's gonna do here, we got these hexagonal weights which work great. Lofton's gonna get around them and he's just gonna try to pick that thing up. You can hold it for time. I wouldn't suggest going more than 10 seconds and putting it down. I'd rather you try to pick up a heavy weight and hold it for less time rather than a little weight holding it for a long time. Because uh, when we hit, when we use our forearms as baseball, we need a lot of power in a short period of time. So it's a better way to do that. Uh, we also, at, at, at Inside Performance, we have our sort of thick uh, bumper plates. So we like to use them as well. It's a 45 pound plate. He tries to get up there, he's trying not to make a face, but it's tough. And he's gonna put it down like that. If you don't have these uh, types of really thick plates, because holding onto a skinny 45 is not that much of a challenge. You can put two of them into a barbell like this. Lachlan's gonna sit, gonna kind of get into kind of like a T-bar row position. He's gonna get over top and he's just gonna pinch him. And again, you can get in a good strong position here. And again, we're not gonna try to hold it for much longer than 20 seconds. We're really focusing on, on how much strength he can provide. Uh, another one we can do, and again, this one's an easy one to implement in the dugout, is some uh, forearm pronations and supinations. He's gonna get his elbow in a nice kind of 90-90 position, forearm relaxed on there, and he's just gonna go back and forth. When you're first doing this one, stop at the top, and then come back down. But as you get a little bit better and stronger, you don't have to, to, to stop at the top, and that extra momentum will provide you a lot more strength to, to go from there. Again, to make this one easier and harder, we just do a little bit of physics. We can slide his hand in like that to make it easier. We shorten the lever arm to make it harder. We can slide him right to the very end of the bat and go in from there. Perfect. All right, our last one is a wrist roller. Uh, at Inside Performance, we have a bit of a mezzanine that we like to use. Because when you do your traditional forearm rolling and you keep your arms like this, oftentimes it's your shoulders that get tired before your forearms. So in the mezzanine here, we have a space where we can uh, put the weight over top. Our rule is, as you see the weight that Lachlan's trying to sort of bring up here. If you look at sort of his setup here, his forearms are rested on here, so his shoulders are nice and relaxed. His forearms are working overtime, big time. And again, what we've done here is given Lachlan a fairly thick piece of PVC pipe, which makes it extra challenging. The thicker it is, the tougher it's gonna be. So usually we try to bring it all the way up. It probably takes about a minute or so. But once he brings it back up, then we try to sort of bring it back down. So again, we won't have him bring it all the way up because again, we'd rather add some extra weight uh, and cut back on some time rather than going lightweight and having him go forever. So again, that's some of our forearm exercises that we like to add into in addition to our uh, forearm flexions, curls, all that other stuff. Hope this helps. Great.